Horses are on the track for the fourth, and here they are. One is Hottest Star, owned by Tom Crouch, also owned and trained by Brian Pinsky, driven by Dean McGee. Two is Limitless Sky, owned by Al Lipfeld, Marvin Katz, and Sam Goldband, trained by Chuck Sylvester, driven by Michelle Lachance. Three is Chips Lady, owned by Rompaway Farms Incorporated, trained by Mark O'Mara, driven by Frank O'Mara. Four is In, P In Pantation, owned by Peter Pan Stables Incorporated, trained by Ivan Sugg, driven by Tony Morgan, who's wearing his regular helmet. Five is India Hall, owned by Robert and Gail Sanders and Don Jennings, trained by Robert Sanders, Randy Jacobs in the Sulky. Six is Back on Track, owned by Winback Farm and Barbara Baum, trained by Wayne Nichols, driven by Dale Heitman. Number seven is Glide Path, owned by Brittany Farms, trained by Ron Gerfine, Eric Letford in the Sulky. Eight is Dig That Girl, owned by Next Star Racing Stable, trained by Mario Zanetti, driven by Dave McGee. And nine is the undefeated Cartier Hall, owned by Joe Mendelson, trained by Doug Ackerman, driven by D.R. Ackerman. That's the field for the $18,000 American National two-year-old Philly elimination trot. The first five finishers return for the $148,000 final next Thursday. Minutes to post. Eighth of a mile to the start. Off stride is Dig That Girl. Here they come. They're off. That's Glide Path for the early lead. On the inside, Limitless Sky, Splitting Rivals, Impantation, and on the outside, Cartier Hall. Off stride in the first turn was back on track. They race to the eighth, and up on the outside, Impantation takes the lead. Limitless Sky is second. Off stride at the eighth was Frank O'Mara and Chips Lady. Chips Lady back on stride. They move up the back stretch, and the leader by two lengths is Impantation. Trotting in second is Limitless Sky off of an opening quarter that goes in 30 and a fifth. And now out of the move is Limitless Sky. Limitless Sky moves up and takes the lead. On the inside, Impantation pushes the pace in second. Up on the outside, Glide Path is third by four. Cartier Hall is fourth by two. India Hall is fifth by four. Trotting in six is Hottest Star. It's a gap of about eight lengths to Chips Lady. Then it's a gap of about nine lengths to Back on Track. And well out of it, Dig That Girl. They approach the half, pass it. With Glide Path, the new leader, Limitless Sky pushed in that second quarter. Halftime 58 and 3, 28 and 2 for the second quarter. And the leader by two and a half lengths is Glide Path. Limitless Sky is second by two. Having taken over third is Cartier Hall. It's two lengths to fourth, where it's India Hall. A gap of six lengths to Hottest Star in fifth. They approach the top of the stretch. Glide path by two and a half lengths. Limitless Sky is second. Here comes Cartier Hall on the move in third. Two and a half lengths to India Hall in fourth. Three quarters, 129 flat. 30 and two for the third quarter. The leader by two lengths is Glide Path. On the outside, Cartier Hall's trying to make a 10 for 10, and she's closing ground. In between horses is Limitless Sky. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. It's Glide Path by two. Cartier Hall's trying to get there. Limitless Sky ducks to the inside. Glide Path is going to end the win streak for Cartier Hall. She wins it by a length and a half. Cartier Hall second. Limitless Sky a clear third. India Hall was fourth. Hottest Star was fifth. In the fourth race, seven, Glide Path was first, nine, Cartier Hall was second, two, Limitless Sky was third, five, India Hall was fourth. In the winner's circle is seven, Glide Path. Glide Path is owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky, is trained by Ron Gerfine. Eric Letford was in the sulky. Glide Path trotting to a winning mile of 159 and three, her first career win, and that, of course, would establish a lifetime Mark.